Holy cannoli, epic unboxing, figgy review, and fun. Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. You guys are in for a treat today. <laughs> We're going to do some basics. We're going to do some battle packs, some elites, some play sets. And this will be a two-part series. And no, I'm not going to review some now and some later. How it's going to play out, right? We're going to get all these unboxings. We're going to get all these reviewed. And what we're going to do for part two... This is gonna be a fix-up video. There's a lot of parts, a lot of head scans, you know, arms, whatnot. We're gonna do a custom fix-up video following after that. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Drop a like if you enjoyed the massive epic haul. And it is massive, you guys. <laughs> we'll start off with the Olympic gold medalist, Kurt Angle. We picked this up from ringside using discount code HERO. This is based on his 2002. It was uh, him against Rey Mysterio. And this is the thing that's confusing to me. I mean, as you guys know, for the face print that they've been using as of late, they're only really using this on the elites. So the fact that we got some of these figures here from the SummerSlam series with face print, that just that boggles my mind. I'm really hyped to get this one out of the box. I'll show you the back right here. The other figures in the set, we got the big dog Roman Reigns, Kurt Angle, John Cena, Shane O'Mac, Shinsuke Nakamura, and the Nature Boy. Let's get Mr. Kurt Angle out. Now the one thing that I noticed off uh, right off the get-go was the head scan right here. It does look like it has like a five o'clock shadow um i could be wrong maybe that's how it looked like in the package because i don't know sometimes the glimmer throws things off but here is the olympic gold medalist kurt angle and this is the same scan that, that we've seen what was it in elite series 59 so we, yeah <laughs> definitely gonna do a swap on this onto my elite just to see what it looks like right and this is what i mean by the five o'clock shadow do you see right underneath his nose how, well actually surrounding his entire mouth, kind of has like that dark shade. I, I don't remember the man having, I don't know when they actually scanned him, the man forgot to shave that morning, but <laughs> again, we're going to swap it on there just to see what it looks like. The entire, this entire is lit. I really, I am digging this stripes. We're getting a bunch of red stripes right behind the angle logo right there. On the side, we're getting two stars. One on this side, one on this side. And take that back, three. We got one on the back as well. There's a signature tattoo right there. I think it's a bird, or not a bird, but some kind of eagle in a wrestling singlet attire. The knee pads, too. They did add the stars right there. This match was actually pretty good. He ended up making a Rey Mysterio tap out. He won the match by submission, right? He used to, I'm telling you, he used to win a lot of his matches by submission. He was the, one of the, well, him and Ben, while they were like submission specialists. Here's the glorious Bobby Roode. And I know you're saying, dude, we just got an elite. Didn't we just get an entrance screen? Didn't we get the NXT TakeOver? The cool thing about this Bobby Roode, though, um, and I'll show you the back real quick. I mean, the, on the back for this entire line, it's the same, right? Just showing you the other figures in the set. Um, this is from Basic Series 85. See, the thing about this Bobby Roode, though, is that, again, uh, a new scan. And I want to check it out. I want to see how this one compares. And this, this is why it's so important that you subscribe, man. <laughs> You're not going to want to miss the part, the figgy swap parts onto the elites. So I'm either going to A, put it on the NXT TakeOver, or I'm most likely the entrance crate. I want to see what it looks like with the full-on entrance rope right there. Check that out. I do like that. I'm actually, again, when, once we do the actual figure comparison, we're going to find out which one is better. I do like this one a lot. I do think that that smirk that he's doing right there, it just really, truly captures Oh man, the, the, the glorious one, right? On the back right there, um, it does say glorious. And on the knee pads, again, they did go out of their way to add the actual stud design on the knee pads. They didn't do it with the NXT TakeOver one. Um, the boots right here, we're getting some nice white boots right there. It is, it is using the new articulation, so you're not getting that hinge right there by the ankle, as well as on the arms. You see how it's uh, it's got the new articulation. Really, oh man, this head scan is fire though. Like The more and more I look at it, the more and more I'm starting to fall in love. Now this right here, this battle pack, this is from Elite Series 52. And this, I actually, I am digging a lot. Um, the head scan right here, if you guys remember, the one, the most recent Elite that we got for Jimmy, I mean, Jay was okay. I actually, uh, Jay was actually one of the favorite figures of 2017. And we gotta do an updated video on that, by the way, because I feel like we've gotten a lot of great figures. We're already half, well, we're almost like halfway through the year here's the card here is the card there's jimmy there's jay they are upset man they are upset that there's a new new cowboys in town right <laughs> the bludgeon brothers those guys are wrecking everybody other figures in the set cesaro sheamus the beast brock lesnar and roman reigns so these right here like i was saying 
For Jay, oh man, they totally killed it for the face print. For Jimmy though, oh, I can't say the same. Uh, and this is why I really wanted this battle pack. I think it's gonna be really cool to do a swap onto that. And I think I might do it to both because I mean, with the face print, you know, if one of them has it and the other one doesn't, it, it just kind of throws things off. So I think I just might do it to both just to see what it looks like. Right here, this is Jay, this is Jimmy. And the reason why I know the difference is because this man is always happy. Look at him. Ah! Well, I don't know if he's happy in this one. He's more, he's about to like jump off the, the top turnbuckle to do a frog splash right there. So this one, yes, really happy we got this. Again, definitely head swapping it onto the Elite. Um, on the shirt right there, it says down since day one-ish. Why didn't we get these, man? We should have gotten these shirts instead of those, uh, the white, I think they were like vests. I mean, they barely wear those. I think had they done like a fabric shirt onto the Elites, that would have been awesome. And this is why this bad, this is why I'm loving this battle pack. I mean, apart from the head scans, I think the shirts that they come with man loving it hopefully i'm pretty sure once they do release them again in the elite line we'll most likely get them but god only knows how long that'll take right <laughs> i'm telling you they need to release an exclusive accessory pack i mean there are so many shirts that come to mind that could just really you know benefit from that right here on the pants yes we're getting like the black style uh, you can call them, yeah, sweats. There you go. That's probably the best way to describe them. Getting some nice white kicks. Uh, yeah, dude, these are lit. And for this right here, this is, at least from the ankles down, it is using the old articulation. So, you, wait, take that back. No, right there, it is the new one. Sorry. But I'm telling you, the attire, the scan. For Jay, yes, this is the one... Yeah, from the most recent Elite, um, most recent, this one was, this one, this one has been released in the past, but it was in a battle pack and it had the actual face paint, so it's nice that we got this. Again, so yeah, uh, full head swaps, I'm telling you, there's a lot of parts in here, part two to this is gonna be epic, you guys. Right here, the next figures, we're gonna take a look at the Beast, Brock Lesnar, like I said, and Roman Reigns, right? He's right here. I think my favorite ones from the set, if you were to ask me, Hero Fix, which ones, if you were to recommend what battle pack do you like the best? I think the Usos, and then I'm going to have to go with these right here. Roman Reigns. This one we got, was it Elite Series 56 for the head scan? For, and this is the best Roman Reigns head scan out yet. So if you missed out on that, this is a great opportunity. The vest right here. This is the one thing that I'm liking about the new basics for these. And I hope that eventually, I, I don't know, if they do do it on the basics, it's going to be interesting how they would sculpt that because of the ab crunch. But check this out. You look on the back right there, it doesn't, ha you can't unclip it. So, I mean, I don't know about you, but most of my, uh, like the most common issue that I had with my Roman Reigns were that anytime I started posing him around, like, yeah, the back right there, it would just be, you know, it would come on Valkyrie. So here's the big dog Roman Reigns in his nice white black attire. Here is the beast Brock Lesnar. Did you guys buy a ticket? Hero fix, what are you talking about? Did you guys buy a ticket to Suplex City, right? There's the shirt right there. This, um, I, this does resemble the GameStop exclusive for the removable shirt right there on the top right there. It kind of has like, it, that's what it looks like. It's basically a ticket and then right underneath it, it says, Take it to, for what, Hero Fix? For Suplex City. Now, Alexa Bliss right here, the beautiful Alexa Bliss. I wonder, you know, I, I highly doubt that this is going to happen, but I wonder if all these figures are going to stay standing throughout the entire video. <laughs> I doubt it. It's inevitable, you guys. Here is Alexa Bliss from Basic Series 85. Let's get her out. Let's get her out. And again, on this one, we are getting a new scan on her, and I definitely, yeah, there is no doubt that this one is going to get a... A redo, not a redo, but uh, she's gonna go to the beauty parlor and check out to see what this head scan is gonna look like on the Elite. Wow, this, they really truly captured her. I really like the pigtails on her, and that's what they are. If you look on the back right there, that's how you can truly tell. On the front, you really can't. It just looks that part of, I mean, from the front, it kind of looks like part of her hair. It's just, you know, um, on the front. But it's actually, yeah, it's pigtails. You see that? And I like how they did that, how they blended in the pink with the blonde right there. And, the, yes, I think on the head scan, my gosh, did they capture... Oh, wow. I am loving this Alexa Bliss. I cannot wait to do the swap on it. Right here, uh, black and gray attire for the attire. Yes, getting a nice black. Not, really not much color to it. I guess most of the color that you're getting is on the hair as well as on the kick pads. Next up, we are going to get out John Cena, the master of, what was it, uh, 2011. 2011 John Cena. It was him against CM Punk. And I don't know if they're kind of saying, you know, you guys, we, we might not get CM Punk back 
in a WWE ring, but we might get him in figure form. I want to see that. And he lost this match. He lost this match. He technically should have won. Uh, Triple H is the special guest uh, referee. Here's the other figures in the set, right? Um, I think the only one we looked at so far is Kurt Angle. And we do have the rest, and you will all see them here on this video. And he, he actually lost, but he actually had his foot on the rope. Was it his foot or was it his hand? It was his foot. It was his foot on the rope. So he should have technically won, but he was going up against the greatest in the world, the best in the world, right? Right there in the shirt, it says, never give up. It looks like he's giving an F. No, I almost called it uh, F U. It used to be an F U. That's what they used to call it. Now it's an attitude adjustment, an AA. It looks like he's giving it to the nature boy. It's kind of hard to tell. Is the nature boy? I don't know. That's kind of what the body that I'm picking up right there. There's this logo right there on the back. It says, you can't see me. Uh, clearly, Triple H didn't see you, man. Because <laughs> like you said, you clearly had that foot on the rope. Next up, we have, again, the big dog, Roman Reigns. And this scan right here, this is probably my least favorite scan out of them all. The attire, it's actually one of my favorites, but not so much on the scan. I think that, uh, again, that 56, they're going to have a really tough time to outdo that one. Just because they just, I'm, I'm telling you, they nailed it out of the park with that one. Right there, this was a fatal four. -way. It was him, Brock Lesnar, Samoa Joe, and drop it in the comment section. I can't remember who the fourth participant was. But one of the participants was the big dog, right? And did he win? Nope, he didn't. <laughs> Right there, um, it's got Roman Reigns throwing up the Superman punch. Again, this one does have the new style of vest. So again, you cannot remove this. I mean, it's a positive and a negative. Negative because A, I would definitely like to use this vest on my elites. Positive because you're not going to have to worry about that issue having it come undone, right? Next one, we got Shinsuke Nakamura. Strong style, right? We're going to go strong style on this video right now. The thing that I noticed right off the get-go for, for this figure... Um, so if this is based on, and I'm pretty sure this is based on 2017, um, he took on Jinder Mahal. And the one thing that I clearly remember about the attire was that on the pants, he had this black line work design, like on the inside. I mean, it's a, it is an easy fix, but that's really the thing that's really standing out to me. He had like this black line work going on the on this side, on both legs, on the inside of both legs. So that just kind of throws it off to me. Um, we have seen this Nakamura here fairly recent for the scan. We got this in the most recent NXT TakeOver. Um, the armband, we are getting the black armband. I don't know. <laughs> what, my question to Mattel is, like, seriously, like, how much could it possibly cost to do a black outfit? Like, I, can, I can imagine, like, some crazy, like, some crazy logo design, like Suplex City or just something that's really detailed. But as far as, like, a black outline, I don't know, man. That's bothering me. Uh, John Cena right here. This is from Basic Series 85. And this is more of a current Cena. This is, uh, so, I mean, I know you're saying, bro, you just got another Cena over there. That, again, that's from 2011. This is more like 2017. Uh, yes, 2017, pretty sure. Um, right there, it says never give up on this side. I'm telling you, we gotta get that green, man. Like, we have gotten it in the past, uh, for the, you know, for the armbands and whatnot, but it wasn't like the lime bright green that he's currently wearing, so we're definitely gonna need to get that one pretty soon. Now, the AJ Styles right here, this is the third time we are getting this figure um if you guys didn't see uh when they unveiled the figures on this the whole reason behind it was this was actually supposed to be enzo this is from basic series 85 and again if you did miss out on that wwe shop exclusive because that was the very first time that they actually introduced it um this is a great way you know this is a great opportunity we are getting the red attire right here he actually took on yeah the big dog he took on roman reigns when we wore this attire it was wow, was it backlash oh man drop it in the comment section <laughs> it's hard to remember all these pay-per-views where these all came from but love the red i'm just waiting i'm patiently waiting i'm over here just like you know twiddling my thumbs wondering how long it's gonna take to get this red attire man like we've gotten just about every single attire you know in the elite form but we haven't gotten the red so pretty hyped to see that right here we have seth freaking rollins the man they call the architect the man they call monday night rollins uh king slayer the name goes on and on for this one though like i said it is the one that's got the shirt right here and the one thing i like about this one versus the other painted on shirts is that this one this is actually a a shirt it's not like skin tone painted on right there i mean you can clearly see the mold right there right underneath the neck area so that's definitely the benefit to this figure um 
this is a lighter gray on the actual tire and it actually i know you can't really see it right here on the camera but if you look closely enough at it it has like this glimmer shiny it's like glittery it, it's definitely like a nice bright uh gray right there there's this logo right there on the back right there they didn't take a shortcut with this one i know a lot of times when they do with like these painted on shirts they'll just do like the front logo and they'll just call it a day but no on the back right there again the sr logo does continue through the back now shano we got to get Shano out here, right? This is, uh, what was it? He had refereed, it was, oh, I'm telling you, there, there's no way that these guys, these guys are going to stand. <laughs> there's absolutely no way. I mean, what is it going to be? I, I have a feeling, and I guess we'll find out, but I'm um, pretty sure that it's going to be inevitable. Give, give it a couple minutes, it'll eventually all fall. Shane McMahon right here, this is... Yeah, he special referee. It was Kevin Owens against AJ Styles, and he had bad. Yeah, he had bad blood both with both. Take <laughs> he had a feud going on with both. I almost said bad blood. Um, but he had like this thing going on, and it, it was like no, neither of them actually wanted for Shane McMahon to referee that match just because like. You know, like, again, he did some dirty stuff to KO. He did some to, to AJ Styles. But, you know, he, for the most part, I will say that he definitely called it down the middle. Right there on the back, it's got the SummerSlam logo. But for the S's, it's got the money sign, right? Because that's what the Shino man. Here comes the money. Um, the, yes, the head scan right there. It is face print. It does have the face print. And I actually, this is probably one of my most recent, like, face print head scans as of late. I just think for this one, they just really, look at this Shano, check that out. So again, I definitely want to swap it out to the Elite. I think that the eyebrows, I mean, they are definitely on point. The five o'clock, yes, and he does have a five o'clock shaft. If you look right underneath the, like the chin area right there, he does have like a nice five o'clock shadow right there. This and this this actually plays uh, two important roles. You can either a right have him referee your Kevin Owens and AJ Styles match, or b if you lack a referee. Because if you really sit down and think about it, you guys, we have not gotten a. Um, an actual like Mattel referee. I mean, we've gotten the Shawn Michaels, right? We've gotten like special guest referee Batista. But when you really sit down and think about it, and it's crazy, right? They've been doing Mattel figures for eight, nine years now. And <laughs> it has taken, actually, it, again, they haven't even released it yet. So we can't even go based on that. The Nature Boy, also 2002 run right there. This is uh, earlier, yes, much earlier Nature Boy right there. We got the nice slick hair style. Drop it in the comments. Drop a like, you guys, if you guys would actually like to see a referee i'm still tripping about that <laughs> right there on the kick pads it does have the rf for your nature you know not nature boy you know how to spell it hero figs <laughs> for rick flair right um nature boy would be nb yes nb right here the next one we have the ringside exclusive playset. it's not a playset. this is a deluxe stretcher this one is cool man and this is actually uh one of the ones that it's up for for grabs for the giveaway um this is cool, and I know you're saying, dude, didn't we get a stretcher with uh, Braun Strowman? We did, and they have released one also in a playset, but I'm going to tell you this right now, at least from what I've seen, and we're about to find out. This one is like literally a hundred times better. I mean, the reviews that I've seen for this thing, this thing is epic, and it, it seriously, it is epic. I mean, it's it's literally like twice the size. You're actually getting like uh, articulate, you're getting playability with this. I mean, if you look right here on the sides, you can actually lift these up or or down right and this actually i believe this reclines i could be wrong there's a button there you go oh that's cool so when you pop it look at that <laughs> so like let's say aj styles just got beat by roman reigns right and he wants to get a drink of water real quick but he's like dude i don't want to get up man i'm I i'm pretty hurt i'm feeling the pain bro <laughs> you just push that button and the man will pop right up and actually not only will he pop right up but it'll also fall right over this is sick dude love this there's a lot going on um right down here on the bottom section it does have like a little floor like where you can put your feet down right there it has oh it's so hard to pick it up with the light but it's got like some nice outline work the wheels too you can spin them a full 360 degrees right there that's where you see the uh I'm not going to call it articulation, but where you can get the movement. So if you clip clip it down right there, it'll stay up. But if you lift it up a little bit and move it forward, you can actually have it come down completely. Let's let's hope I don't break it. <laughs> uh, I, oh. I know it comes down. How do you make this thing come down? There you go. You just got to um, see right there how it stops it. So that's what you got to do. So once you do that, it'll actually sit flat right there. That is slit, man. 
Love this. They totally, oh man, good job Ringside. This deluxe stretcher, it is definitely deluxe and there's no doubt that it's definitely a must. Next up, we have uh, the last set from Elite Series 52, Seamus and Cesaro. Now we did get this in two to three, was it, was it 49? It, was, it wasn't that long ago. Um, I think what had happened is most likely it was very similar to AJ Styles where, you know, some had happened where someone either A, got released or B, something along the line, because I'm pretty sure these these didn't sell like hotcakes, <laughs> at least at my Walmart. I mean, they're still kind of shelf warming out there, so I think that's what had happened. That's, that's the whole reason. I mean, most of the time, that's the reason for a lot of the re-releases of these figures is because um, they end up removing some, of you know, because of contract issues or whatnot. But right here for Cesaro, we are getting the Cesaro section. It looks like a, yes, looks like the planet. It looks like the entire planet is Cesaro section. <laughs> the trunks right here. We're getting the black and gold right there on the back. It says Cesaro right there. The knee pads, it does have a combination of the black as well as the gray on the back. And for the boots right there, we're getting a nice gold trim outline. Now for right here, for the warrior, the Celtic warrior, right? Celtic. It, it, I don't know. When you read it, it's it kind of at least what I you know what I see is uh, C E C E L I T I C. It sounds like Celtic, right? But it's Celtic. And then right there, it's got his. Uh, it's like a wolf right up top and it's got a little flame right there centered in the middle and a couple of axes yes a couple of axes right there coming outside the logo these are the red trunks we're getting the red trunks with this snake uh, logo design right there on the front as well as on the knee pads i don't know i think yeah if you were to ask me what figure stands out the most from the set it definitely has to be those usos for sure next up we have another ring set exclusive this is the five belt pack Extremely rare, extremely rare prior to them uh, putting this out in, in a pack. And this is what I mean. I mean, when we were talking about earlier in the video, I know we were saying like um, how it's like, it, it is a possibility. We can definitely get accessory packs and most likely they would be exclusives, you know, um, but it is definitely a possibility. That's one thing that I would definitely like to see is seeing something similar to, like this, but like an, an accessory pack, you know, whether it's shirts, pants, uh, belts, like, you name it, they can definitely do it. I don't see why they haven't yet. I mean, Mattel, you know, come on, man. That's definitely a, a missed opportunity if you guys don't capitalize it. Right there, we're getting the Hardcore Champion, the Rated R WWE Champion, the Raw Tag Team Titles, SmackDown, WCW. The ones that I mainly wanted from this pack, I will have to say, most likely for me, is going to be the Raw, and it's going to be the SmackDown. I think those ones were the ones that were mainly high in demand, at least on my list, for sure. Um... The hardcore title, we got this with Kane. We got this with the ringside exclusive Kane. The rated R, let's get them out so that way you guys can get a better closer look at it right there. Yeah, we got this with a hardcore Kane. And it's cool because what this is, this is basically the WWE title, or well, the old version of it, right? So what they did is uh, once they kind of, you know, it got old, it got beat up, they're just like, let's put some tape on it, let's write hardcore on it, and we'll make this the official hardcore championship. And it's cool, like, you look real close right there, and up on the corner, it says WWE. That's sick, man. And the tape is just spat, uh, scattered throughout the side plates. Really awesome. The edge one right here this one uh yes this is when edge got his hands on it this was basically yeah it was like the john cena spinner belt but when john's when edge got his hands on it he changed the john cena style logo design centered in the middle and he made it into the rated r and it does spin see how like if you turn it you can completely turn that like a full 360 degrees really cool belt I'm telling you and then the, for me my favorite for sure is going to be the Raw and Tag Team titles. I think we got this with Big Show, one of the very first early Big Shows. And we'll get the last one out too. Um, one of the very first Big Shows. And again, these ones, like you could have gotten them prior to them releasing this pack. But individually, I mean, each one of these were, I think they wanted like $40 for each. And it's clear to see why. I mean, this thing is straight fire. Look at that. That is lit. I mean, right there, we're getting the nice bright blue. This truly represents SmackDown. The beginning, right, where it kind of all started, and right here, here is the Raw Tag Team titles. It does have the old Scratch logo for both right there. The NWO one right here, I think we got this, Was it, I, I believe it was with Kevin Nash. Uh, it was like his, I think it was either his red attire. It was a fairly recent Elite. I'm pretty sure it was, was it Elite Series 16 or was that Skin Nash? Uh, again, we, we've gotten this, but so rare, extremely rare. This is basically the World Heavyweight title, except for the um, front right here. They did spray paint the NWO logo. Really cool. I like this. So happy to have this, man. 
<laughs> really cool. And this is kind of like, I think if you were to pick this up, for, this is what I would strongly recommend. It would definitely be worth picking up two sets of it. That way you can have two SmackDowns and two Raws, right? I mean, you can never have too many hardcore titles, that's for sure. Next up, another... Um, I told you it was gonna happen. <laughs> uh, we have another ringside exclusive. It was inevitable. We and if it didn't happen, it's gonna happen after this figure. Why? Why is it gonna happen after this figure, Hero Face? We gotta do a playset. There's no way that we're gonna fit the playset if all these guys are in here, right? There is the Macho Man. Oh yeah! This is when he started branching out. This is when he decided to leave NWO, right? This is when he wanted to. Well, him and I think it was Nash. There was. Uh, Mr. Perfect. I actually, come to think of it, you guys, and drop it in the comment section if you guys want to see this. Um, it, this is when he started going with... Yeah, I have the full... I have the complete... I have a lot of custom... Uh, the Wolfpack custom figures, so we can definitely do, like, a custom figure collection of the full... The full... The full... Uh, not, not... I almost called it a company. It's, it wasn't a company. Um... Just the, you know, the gang, the full uh, Wolfpack gang right there. So this is coming with a lot of accessories. I already noticed that a lot of them had already fallen off. So right there, we're getting the nice Madness shirt. Getting the glasses. We're getting a shirt, a Macho Man shirt, as well as a waist strap. There's the glasses right there. It's really cool because if you look right there, it does have like, it almost looks like shark teeth. You see that right there? Um, I just think that, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Love this. Wow, and do they all go on there pretty well? I'm pretty sure they do. Shirt right here, it is um, actually kind of similar to his, what was it? The one that came with, uh, the, it was the black and white, the black and white NWO, at least for the side uh, armbands right here, how it's got like the tassels, and of course the glasses are gonna come off. Uh, we'll put these aside for right now. But it's cool right there, it says Macho Man. And I believe that one did come with two of them. I think you could have chosen either like a black and white or a white and black. The tights too, look at this. This is literally, this is madness. <laughs> right there on the side, you gotta align it though. You gotta turn the A and that's how you get the full madness, right? The full madness effect of this figure. The tassels, we're getting the nice red tassels, black gloves, love this macho man. Good job, Ring. I'm so happy that we got, I'm sure a lot of people are like, dude, we've got so many macho man. Like, what's so special about this one? It's the fact that it's the wolf pack, man. You know, this is where the two sweet had truly originated from. Like I told you guys, since these guys stood up, you know that they were all gonna eventually fall down for this sick playset. Look at this, this is, oh my gosh, this is childhood at its best right here. Um, we're gonna have to back this up a little bit, that way you guys can get the full frame. There it is right there. There's AJ Styles, there is uh, Nature Boy right there, centered in the middle, Macho Man lifting up those steel steps. Big E, looks like, well it's not a big ending, he's more doing like a bench press, and AJ Styles, I think, he should be doing a phenomenal forearm, man. <laughs> We got uh, Finn Balor over here with Le Coup de Gras. Um, on the side right there, it kind of shows you like the image of the actual ring once it's fully assembled. It is, it's really easy to assemble. I will tell you that right now. We're going to get this out. We're going to get this out. And I actually have some of these uh, old school retro figures. That way we can have a little Battle Royale slash Royal Rumble. So again, a lot of stuff, right? Getting the a little uh, stand right here where you can put your titles. On the other side, I'm pretty sure they're not showing it on here, but I'm, I'm assuming like right behind Goldberg on this side right here uh, by the ringside area. It's like this little announcer table. It's got the tension ropes, right? Got the removable steel steps. And again, um, if you guys didn't see the unboxing on this, these are all the upcoming figures in the set. We're gonna get, we're gonna be getting a Bray Wyatt, a Brian, Nakamura, Sting, Michaels, Jericho, Sheamus, and Kurt Angle. I think that'll be series three or is it four? I feel like they've, uh, they've been pumping out a lot of these for sure. Let's move this stuff. Put this aside right here, real quick. That way we can get this out. This right here, this playset. Pretty hyped for this. Um, again, uh, I used to have one very similar to this when I was a kid, but some had happened. Uh, pretty sad story. <laughs> I don't want to bore you with it, but you know, it's nice that Mattel said, "Hey, we got to put this back out for those people that either a missed it or b want to relive the good old days." And that's what this ring basically is. So this is. The stand, right? Um, and this is kind of like your traditional basic style stand. Again, uh, th they are adding a little bit extra to it. I think what I might do, because you can put the logo right there. If you see how it's got like a nice outline work. You can put the logo centered in the middle. Here's the logo. There's the classic WWE logo. I think what I might do, because I think, come to think of it, no, they did used to do the logo. They take, yes, they did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they did. Um, getting the ropes right here. It's For one of them, it's already going to come... 
I'm pretty sure already like already on one of them and then you're gonna have to connect all four so let's get this put together let's put this aside real quick that way we can get a solid uh, view of like the whole thing fully assembled real quick Awesome, so here it is fully assembled. Now it does come in with instructions, and it, again, it's really easy. You ever put together a basic ring, this is gonna, you're gonna basically do the same procedure. Um, these, one of them, is it this one? Yeah, I believe it's this one. One of them will already come with the ropes right here, already on it, and then what you'll do is that you'll just unpull it from that and clip it onto these other, and they, look, they unclip really super easy. You just clip it on, you go underneath it, and it'll clip right on there. And once you've done that, I mean, you insert the extra three because you're getting one, two, three, four. You're getting all four, and you just put them into the corner right there, and that's basically it. You add the WWE logo, and this thing is awesome. Check this out. So the logo right there, this was the sticker that I was showing you. Um, the steps, how these basically clip on, you have to lift it up and, you know, like clip it onto it. It comes with uh, two of them. You get one on this side and one on the other. Right there, this is the announcer table. I'll turn it for you. Here is the announcer table right there. It's got two little tiny monitors. Not much detail to this side. This is basically where you're reaping the benefits of the little extra side things right there. Right right where you can put the titles right there. I put the Raw and the SmackDown just so you can get a good idea of what you know a couple of belts will look like right on there. So pretty cool. I do like that. Like I said, I do have um, some of the old style retros just so you can see like in scale and size comparison of how this is actually gonna play out. We got an old school Shawn Mike, we got the Heartbreak Kid, we got Giant Gonzalez. These were so much fun, you guys. <laughs> I can't tell you. I mean, these are by a mile, these new figures. There's more detail, there's more articulation, whatnot. But this is where it all started. Check this out, we got the Million Dollar Man. And we got Kamala, as wrestling days would say. <laughs> I wonder if he's why if you're watching this, man. I know how much, I know I know how you feel about your Kamala right there, right? But there it is. You can have a nice little battle royale, right? We got the million dollar man dropping a strong fist on Kamala. We got Giant Gonzalez picking up the million dollar man. And Shawn Michaels, what's he doing? Switching. He caught him out of nowhere. He's going to the top turnbuckle. He's going for a devastating. Oh my gosh. Shawn Michaels elbow drop. So these figures can definitely take a beating for sure. This ring, I'm telling you, this is a must for any retro lover. You know, for any place set, like this is a really, I, I gotta say, they've done a lot of great play sets as of, as of late. But this one definitely takes the cake. Until next time, everybody.